Hello, welcome to Eye Opening FS. So today we'll be talking about some trade that we took. Uh, so swing trade, even some short scalping, uh, and other trap move that market presented on price theorem. So I uh, will be explaining some to you and uh, our target on EU are successfully hit. So for the swing trade, our target has successfully hit. Though we still have extra position holding, but for some what uh, the swing trade, we are what we will take out some up to three position out. Now we'll be leaving two for what position trading. Then other ones that I'll be explaining. Those are what literally for intraday setup, uh, uh, intraday and scalping. So, so from our heat for structure view, we have gotten uh, a major structure here, uh, which you can easily see, and how market reacted from it. How market reacted from it. So normally we were expecting market initially. We expect market to react from that uh, daily demand or SC zone. So which market did, but it was not able to use it to value this structure. S would have been what holding some what other swing trade that we have been what holding since this buy started around this low. So from there, now after the sell move gave us what uh, what we need and some trap move to show that it would go along with the downside to even to our our target. So around this area, around this area, we got a good reaction from this area. So since we got a good reaction from this area, we're able to take some short sell. Uh, our first sell was around this area, which it was a, a push capping. Uh, so I'll be showing you those uh, kind of setup I do so far. So most of those setup that what one of the what deadliest setup I have seen so far. So EU presented some good trade. Even GU, though we will not be able to talk about GU today. So mostly we'll be discussing about EU and everything about it. So around this area we have okay, around this area we have uh, our first uh, uh, wake of uh, distribution, our wake of distribution, which happened here. So as the, the wake of distribution happened here, from our weekly commentary, we're able to see that uh, market has volume structure around this area, our room and everything. So the first sell that happened was here, instantly after this, this uh, news came into play. So the first sell that happened was here, I missed the entry with a 0.3 pipette. So as I missed the entry from there, I, I didn't care to join any longer. So I just waited for it to take this low, which is patient, which is very, very what important in trading. So sometimes uh, you can stay a whole day without seeing so, some what value setup. What I mean by value setup, those setup that can give you what good risk reward ratio, not some mania scalping that uh, you'll be kind of uh, predicting what will be happening around this area. Then after taking a trade around this area, you leave the whole without catching the move, without catching those major moves, you don't do that. So major things that we do, we focus on the major moves, on the major moves that happens in the market and how we take the, uh, how we do what, how do you target our take profit, which is very, very, very important. So we took a first short sell from this area. We took our first, sell around this area so our target was around this area yeah which we also talked about in our weekly commentary and all so our target was around this area so since we took this target around this area we took our profit out short-term target so short-term target so another one as market was presenting this was giving us some good good structure around this area with trapping also inducing liquidity showing us uh, some good setup around this area after using this very high, making this uh, a kind of what a protected high or a strong high. So after that market was able to come back to clear somewhat 
the restructure liquidity. What we call restructure. Uh, it was able to come to clear some restructure move around this area. Then running back into this area, boom, creating a lower low. So structure still remain valid since you already know that it will take the low on H4. Since you already know that it will take the low on H4. So market came back to our SC, which we call primary point of interest. In that last primary point of interest, we have what we call mitigation. Our last area of mitigation, which you can even have one, uh, one pips or two pips stop loss around this area, which you can have one pips or two pips stop loss. So, but without much refinement, you can, your stop loss can be uh, just this as your stop loss and it's a swing trade. So, boom. As market took this low, you can easily lose somewhat good pressure. Good pressure. Now, these are these major things about mitigation. So market also give us a good reaction around this area, a good sell move, which we took also as a uh, scalp setup. Then our target was always this low. The same thing over and over again, the reputation. And one thing you should understand is that most of my students are even catching most of this move more than me. So most of them were able to catch all the whole buy position that market presented here. Market presented uh, more than uh, one after a trap move that happened here, after a trap leg or uh, kind of trap move that happened here. One, two, three, uh, up to four set, up to four set of was presented in this short buy. But most, uh, one thing about me is that I don't care much about, though I might be able to explain it for you, how market will form it and everything, but I don't care much about this little, little buy move. So once I know that this sell move is coming to play and I know it will be what, it will come with momentum, this is my major focus. So I will focus on this sell move, taking my first take profit, and then targeting my next inducement area on the left-hand side, or uh, how market will use it as my what, uh, next target. So those are the major things that I put, or uh, those are the major priorities I look for in market. Those are the major priorities I look for in market. Now you can also see what market did here after presenting a good low or taking a good low here. He just came back to what our SC, refined SC on the lower time frame. He gave us a sharp sell move around this area, which I was able to take. So which I was able to take as another what swing position as another swing position. So market was presenting some good, good setup around this area. Some good, good setup, though most of them are what scalping within this range. So the major things about me is I always focus on the major moves. Unlike before, now if it's before when I started uh, all this uh, kind of a little bit, uh, kind of you can call it magic. So. When I started it, which I believe that is what my some of, some of my students are also doing, I always try to catch when I was uh, like kind of growing my account and all. Always try to watch catch most of the moves. Then one thing you should know is this: you will also take loss no matter how good you are, even if you are the one that even created that created this uh this uh a great team and all. Even if you are the one that created, you will still make mistake. That's human. You can't you can't be above what mistake. You can't be above what mistakes. So that's what market did. So most of my students do catch most of those set of this little little set of that happen on the lower time frame, which most times I don't care much about it any longer. But it's their own, own time. So I also have a student that was able to grow account from eighty three dollar to four k dollars just within two weeks on synthetic index. Some also do it on principal, as some were even doing what some challenges on like flipping $10 to uh, uh, to some $8 and all. Now, those are major uh, trade setup that we do. Now, let me kind of delete everything and give you a good word, a good preamble of all. So on lower time frame around this area, uh, so from, okay. So 
uh, these are the major setup that we got on uh, lower time frame. Now, if you use a what to call fixed range, if you know how to use it, from these two candles here, these two candles majorly. Now, this ring, this ring will give you last area of what mitigation around this area. So market was able to mitigate from this area to this last area, if you understand mitigation properly. And it was able to mitigate from here down to this last area. So that means this area is what uh, last area of what mitigation. The fish range was able to give you that valid area of what that area that was not properly what mitigated within this little space here. So once the uh, fish range is able to give you that range, boom, market trade into that range before giving us what a good reaction to the downside. A structure continuation after market took this low to the downside. To the downside. After market took this low to the downside. So after market took that low, a good reaction. Then we took our sell, which we call, when I mean we call, all the home move that happened on this particular area, we call it, we call it in our, our weekly commentary. From here, from this very best buy move that happened here, to this uh, second buy move, to this, to this, this, how market use this as a trap, which is very, very important. Then to this, even to this latest high. Then after that, uh, people were still looking for buy. Why we, are, we have already what? Uh, we are already out of the market looking for sell. So market continue presenting some good setup downside. So around this area, the major two sell uh, setup that I took was this. This was my first sell setup. Then another one was this. These are the major two setup I took here. Then taking my first partial around this low. Why do you always do that? Because you're not the market maker, because market can what decide to what humble you. So that's why you always would take your first partial at every low, taking at least 30% off or even 50% off, leaving 50% to the remaining runner or to your second take profit and all. Your second take profit and all. So that is that. I know that uh, as you are taking all these major buying moves, we are not taking some little, little loss. Around this area, around this area, uh, there's no loss tree that was taken around this area. Like all move here was very, very perfect and understandable. So that is that. Around this area, a good sell was also present. So one thing is this, you can take some loss tree, but if you're able to take 10 tree, you take out of the 10 trade, you took only three loss or two loss, then plus let's say two break even. Then you're already profiting one, you're already doing pretty fine within a year, uh, within even six months. Believe me, you'll be what you'll be you'll be smiling at your own account and all. So that is that on the EU trade we took. On the EU trade with you at all. So, so uh, for the recent days, we took a little sell setup around this area with our Asian range setup, which we call Asian set, uh, Asian trap. We took a little sell here. Though for this, I I believe people that caught it were few. People that caught it with me were few around this area. So this is kind of Asian ring setup. So as market induced this very high, this Asian setup plus how market formed structure around this area, around this area. So knowing fully that it induced this high. So instantly after market induced this very high. So I just waited for a little short break of structure, which is very, very important as a confirmation since my major, my major sell entry was around this area. This was my point of interest. But I know instantly after market induced this high, it can continue selling. So I didn't uh, care to wait for market to come to that area. So once it gave me what, it violates the rule of structure around this area. So I took my first sell around this area, took my sell here. So took my sell here, targeting that same TP, which we have gotten now in this, uh, in today recap, so we're able to call some trade here also. And the buy move was pretty fine, moving so fine and all. The buy move was moving, despite the fact that it's with Asian range and all, but it was still moving so fine though. 
it was not fast enough as I expected. Just that because of the news that's coming to play, that is why it's might have went slow. So that is that on EU, and that's expectation. And just like what we said, uh, on uh, EU on a weekly time frame, we have uh, we have run into what we have run into our what. Uh, okay. So we have run into what an area of interest. The market has not finally treated into our what point of what interest our refined point of interest, which will be what looking for what, a little reaction. Then our search trade, you can check us on Instagram, eyes open in the face. You will see that uh, most of these uh, search trade that you see here, even more, more of those trade that I took on this EU, but mostly I trade this EU, GU and good. These are my major pairs. So I focus on, sometimes it just depend on me. I can focus on more on good. Sometimes I can focus more on EU. Sometimes I can focus more on, Geo. So it just depends on how market present the what price action on each pairs or how I love the price action around that one, uh, area on that particular pair. So that will make me to, to shift to one uh, pair at that very moment to shift because these three pairs, I mastered everything on them. So that is that. So good luck, good trading. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. God bless you.